Afternoon, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School, and I'm down here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom during a full Bushcraft 101 class. This entire classroom is littered with tools and projects. The teams are out with the instructor group right now, collecting materials off the landscape to build more tools to improve camp life and to build other tools. So while they're gone, I wanted to talk to you today about a project I've been working on with a friend of mine, and it's called a nomograph. Okay, if you've never heard of a nomograph, a nomograph was invented in the 1880s. It was used in building the railroads. It was used in surveying. And even today, nomographs are still used, although they're very obscure. They're called Smith charts for electrical guys and people who are electrical engineers. They use them also in the medical field to figure out doses for patients by body weight and things like that. And they are also used on water. There is a gear navigational nomograph that I'm going to put a picture of on this video for you that cal will help you to calculate distance, speed, things like that to help position yourself with your boat as you move, okay? And so what a nomograph is, it's a calculation device, a calculation table or graph per se, that shows the relationship between two or more numbers to others. And after I shot the video a couple weeks ago, the series of videos on how to use a slide rule for navigational problems, like figuring out what your pace count over distance was or what your pace count was versus how many meters you walked or how many meters versus how many paces it would take to walk that far. Someone contacted me who's now become a friend of mine. Um, I won't give his name on this video because he might not appreciate that. But the fact is he contacted me and asked me if I had understood or knew what a nomograph was. And at that time I had no clue. And once he talked to me about it, I started looking it up and doing some research and he and I talked more and he developed a computer program. He is an engineer and he developed a computer program that would spit out nomographs to my specifications. Now, I paid for these nomographs. I paid for this programming, so I'm not just going to give these things away um, necessarily, but I want to show you how they work today because it's a very interesting concept that's something you can make very, very small, carry with you with your notebook on just a laminated piece of paper or have printed on notebook paper in your notebook. It can be printed on right in the rain paper in a right in the rain notebook. It can be printed on a white plastic credit card size thing you can carry in your wallet. It can be printed lots and lots of different ways to be carried so that it calculates these things for you virtually automatically without understanding how to work a slide rule. So let's look at this nomograph real quick and I'll show you how it works. Stay with me. All right, so just a real quick board discussion on how these nomographs work. And of course, this is not going to be the exact scale. The one I have is to exact scale. I'm not going to show that entire nomograph on video because it is a proprietary piece of information I had to have a program written for and pay for to spit this information out. But basically, you have three lines of information on there. And one of them is your distance per pace, which would be considered your speed, okay? So in my case, it's 1.6 meters per pace, all right? And you have a scale on here. The next line that you have on here is distance covered, okay? And it can go up to 1,000 meters and go down to, you know, 10 meters, however you want it to set that scale up with the program. And then it is tick marked off all the way up with major increments, minor increments, things like that, okay? And then the next one is your actual paces walked or your pace count. And again, it will start at 1,000 and go down to 10 and be broken up into increments. And the way these things work, when the program is written correctly, the nomograph works by laying a straight edge across three points from any of the known points. So if I take Let's say that I want to know if my pace count is 1.6 and I know that I have to walk, let's just say this is 475 meters. If I laid a straight line here, and again, this is not the scale at all, but if I laid a straight line across here, it would cross this scale at the exact number of paces it would take to walk 500 meters. Again, not the scale, so this is not showing it properly, okay? But that's what a nomograph will do. It's a calculator. 
My distance covered per pace is 1.6 meters. I'm gonna walk 475 meters-ish. I'm probably at about 480 here, right? And where that crosses here on pace count, that's gonna tell me how many paces it's gonna to take to do that. You could do the same thing in reverse. If I knew how many paces I had walked, let's say I walked, let's just take an arbitrary number here and say 500. If I walk 500 paces, wherever that crosses this line with my pace count is gonna tell me the distance that I walked. So it might be 620, I don't know what the exact calculation is without doing the math. That's the purpose of this scale, is to do that math for you quickly without a slide rule, without a calculator, on something you can carry in your notebook, in your pocket, whatever the case may be, and you've got this nomographic distance scale for navigation. And this is, again, something that I created with another person, and it's an original idea that's never been done before for this type of navigation. It's been done for water navigation with a boat to track distance travel and location with a boat, but it's never been done for foot travel over distance. So I'm going to show you one of these live, but I'm going to have some areas obscured on it because really once you have it, you have it. It was as simple as taking a picture of that scale and you would have it. And since it takes a computer program to generate that scale, I'm not going to show you the whole thing in its entirety on video, but I will demonstrate kind of how it works for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to, looking at these three input factors, we're going to take our 1.6 meters per pace, and we're going to say that we walked 450 paces, and we're going to figure out what the distance is that we walked in meters using our nomograph. All right, so again, I've got part of this scale obscured so not to give it away, all right? But our calculation was 1.6 meters, which there's 1.5, 1.6 meters. And we walked, we said we walked 450 paces and our pace count's up here. So we crossed this line to the 450, which is right there. And we have this on the 1.6, which is right here on this side. And we go to 450 up here. It's going to cross right here between the 700 and the 750. So it's going to be somewhere between 700 and 750. And it's about halfway. So about 725. All right. Now let me do the math and give you the correct answer. All right. So the actual math works out to 720 meters. And I said 725. Looking at this at... 1.6, moving this up to 450. We're about halfway between the 700 and 750. I said 725. So I'm five paces, basically, or five meters, excuse me. I'm five, five meters off of what I said I walked, right? At 720, I said I walked 725. So for something that's small enough to put in your pocket and will actually fit into a right in a rain notebook like this, that's pretty accurate. Now, if we don't know what our distance is per pace, we can use this scale to figure that out. If we take 62 paces to walk that 100 meters, it's gonna put us at 1.6 and change. And 1.61 is the actual calculation. So we can use this device for lots and lots of calculations with navigation. And it is set up for that specific purpose. On the back of this shows us slope and grade, rise versus run, so that we can figure out what the slope is on angle to add or subtract to our pace count, depending on whether we're going uphill or downhill. If you look online, you can also find nomographs that were made by gas and oil companies back probably, I'm guessing, 50s, 60s time frame that would calculate things like how far you could travel on a tank of gas, and it would calculate how many gallons of gas you put in your vehicle, versus how many miles per gallon your vehicle got, how many, how many miles you could actually travel on that gas. And so that was a simple nomograph that was probably a giveaway at some point in time for gas and oil companies to motor vehicle owners back in the day when things were, you know, probably pre-calculators and things like that. So probably pre-60s for sure, before the uh, Hewlett Packard calculator came out. But it was another example of a nomograph that was used in more recent times than the railroad days or surveying time. And it's kind of an obscure thing that's kind of lost its, you know, lost its luster per se with just like the slide rule 
with the invent of calculators. But for our purposes and what we do for doing calculations on the fly in the field without having to do the long math, it's a perfect item to carry with us if we don't want to carry a slide rule or try to learn a slide rule. And it's actually very, very quick to learn how to use a nomograph. So it's something that, again, you know, somewhere along the line, I'm going to release this somehow, some way into some kind of a card form probably that you can purchase on our website, or I may use them as giveaways for people that come to navigational classes at our school, like the intermediate where we talk about map reading and things like that, or the navigation intensive class. And we'll see where it goes from there, but I wanted to show them to you today to kind of get the idea out in front of you of where I'm at with this thing. Again, you know, I try to stay in the forefront of everything. I try to come up with new inventive ways to do things that have either been forgotten about, never been used for that purpose before, or I can improve on an old design and make something new that works well. There's lots of people out there that copy every single thing I do from the phrases I use to my business model, but nobody will ever keep up with me because my brain runs 120 miles an hour, seven days a week, trying to come up with new concepts. And when this guy contacted me about nomographs, it clicked into my head really quick how useful that could be for what we do in navigation and how useful it could be to someone who's walking around with a map and compass and wants to figure this stuff out on the fly without doing the long math. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I got to get back to the Bushcraft 101 because we got lots more projects to make this weekend. I'll see you guys on the next video.